Hello and welcome to another ASC Productions video. Today I am opening up another piece of hardware and looking at it. Uh, this was a laptop. So every day I go on Amazon and I look at laptops under $200 just to see what's available and what you can buy on any given day at any given time. And I bought this laptop which is an HP laptop 14DK0002DX which HP really needs to work on their naming uh, of their laptops. Uh, their na naming uh, scheme sucks. Uh, but this specifically has an A9-9425 APU, 128GB SSD, 4 gigs of RAM, it has Windows 10 in S mode, so Windows 10 Home in S mode, and a 14 inch HD display. So couple things there, the 14 inch screen, it is a 1366 by 768 I wish it was a 1080, uh, but I think I can live with that for right now. Um, Windows 10 Home and S mode, we can switch out of S mode pretty easily. But what's really exciting is the 128 gigabyte solid state drive and the 4 gigabytes of RAM. So I've opened it up and saw that not only does it have a upgradable DIMM, but it actually has two slots. And the solid state drive is an actual NVMe. It's kind of hard to see there, but it is an NVMe SSD. And this motherboard obviously is used for other things because you can see right here the pinout for a dedicated graphics card and the memory for that graphics card. So this machine is one that obviously they plan to use for several other machines and so They've made it upgradable uh, so that it can be easily upgraded to in other systems. So this is actually very exciting. I don't know a whole lot about this um, AMD A9 processor. I know more about the uh, Celerons and the A6 processors. They're kind of more in line with each other as far as performance goes. Now, this laptop I did pay $199 for plus tax. Right now, they look like they're going on Amazon for about $285. Depending on its performance and the fact that it is so upgradable could be a really really good deal. Um, we're going to obviously do performance testing on this machine and battery testing all, all that jazz. Uh, but like I said I got it for $199 so you could possibly get it for that $199 as well. I've seen it both on Amazon and at uh, Best Buy for that price. And so, definitely if you're looking to up get this machine down the road, look for that price. I'll put a link to this in the description uh, on Amazon specifically. Now, as far as opening up machine, if you plan on buying one of these, here's the bottom. And it has um, two screw holes there on the front edge. And here and here are actually these strips. Uh, let me go that way. So to open it, you actually have to pull these um, strips off to be able to open it um, and take out the screw. So there's seven screws in all. The two front ones are these shorter screws, and then the ones covered up by the rubber strips are longer. So you want to make sure that you don't mix those up when you go to reassemble it. I have here an 8 gig. Uh, memory module, a DIMM. So we're going to upgrade this right now to a total of 12 gigs of memory before we even do any performance benchmarks because we got it open. Might as well take advantage of that extra slot and that's how easy it was to upgrade that. Swap out the memory. Obviously the CPU isn't upgradable. I may repaste it but we'll see how it does thermal wise if it thermal throttles or anything will upgrade. I don't even know if this uh, system has two cores, four cores. We're going to find that out. That'll be interesting to find out here in a minute. But as far as upgradability for this price range, to have an NVMe SSD versus that stinking eMMC storage, which is so slow, huge. And to have upgradable memory, huge. So for if you can find this for a hundred, or excuse me, for two hundred dollars, it's a smoking deal. And it's really not that far off from like the. Um, the Asus E203MA, I think that is going for about $215. So this is only $70 more. You probably get a much better processor, more storage, upgradable RAM, upgradable storage, 
uh, for only about 70 bucks more at this point. So, like I said, let's go ahead and put things together and we'll follow up with another video of some performance benchmarks. And if you have anything specific you'd like to see, let me know. I'll try to get that for you. Alright, thank you for watching and I hope you have an amazing day.